inflection point. What is an inflection point? If you know what it is, you know how to find it. That's where the function changes its concavity. So the second derivative is negative, the graph is concave down. If the second derivative is positive, the graph is concave up. An inflection point is the point where the second derivative changes from negative to positive or positive to negative. Question? Yes. Let's say the second derivative was derivative equals zero. Can you find it on the first derivative, the inflection point? No. If the, the, there's no way to use the first derivative directly to find an inflection point. There, you can fool yourself into thinking there is, but there are counter, counter, counter examples to everything. So you need the second derivative. For the second derivative, uh, you're going to have to use either the product rule or the quotient rule here. It's, there's no escaping it. Also, here's another thing. Um, keep, I, this is like a gen generic fact about just being good at things in life. The more you do something, the better you get at it, assuming you're not developing bad habits. That's a warning. But practice is how you get good at anything. The problem is that people avoid doing things they're not good at. Vicious cycle. So if you avoid doing things you're not good at, you're never going to get any better at them. And people do a lot of things that they enjoy doing, which is usually things they're good at. So people are, it's like the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. What I'm trying to tell you is this, something I've been telling my classes for a long time. The punchline is, if you don't want to do it, if you're resisting doing it, it's probably the thing you most need to do. And I learned this when I was doing physical therapy. The exercise that you do not want to do, the one that hurts when you do it, or the, not even hurts, the one that the muscle won't even move. So I know about staring at problems, and you can't even get a thought to come into your head. You don't want to do it. Because I've had to do physical therapy with muscles that would not move, no matter how hard I tried to make them move. Would not move. But you know what? That's the only way you're ever going to get that muscle to move. That resistance is telling you something. It's telling you this is what you need to be doing. When you get to that thing, you are going to fight it with every inch of your being. You won't want to do it. That means that's the thing you want, must do if you want to get ahead. So if you, if you do not like computing derivatives of, of things where you have to use the quotient rule, you know what you're going to have to do a lot of? Compute derivatives of things using the quotient rule. You know what my least favorite thing in math is? Long division. Oh my god, Dorothy. Long division. I hate it so much. I spent one entire summer when I was in fifth grade doing long divisions every day. Not because it was fun, because I wanted to get over that. I still hate it, but I'm good at it now. I'm not saying I'm so great. I don't even know why I did that. I think I was crazy. But I knew it was a problem for me. I knew I hated it. So I said, OK, this summer I'm going to get over that. Baseball batting averages by hand all summer long. That made it a little less painful. Still painful. So, whatever you're resisting doing, that's the thing you must do. You must do. Make yourself get over that resistance. Don't just do the ones that you like. I'll say, I'll do one that I like when I get finished with this. Right? I'll reward myself. I'll just do one that I like. So that's the review of everything in chapter four so far. Um, what kind of function is this? We're going to do this from now on. What kind of function is this? Rational, Rational function. We know what to do. 